All right, let's build some Gundam. So, as I've mentioned before in a couple of other videos, we'll be checking out uh, my very first Gundam. I've never built one of these. A friend of mine from work decided to uh, tell me all about it. He's built a couple of kits himself, and so uh, yeah, I figured I'd check it out myself as well. So I bought uh, myself Strike Freedom Gundam. So I haven't watched any Gundam, like, ever at all. I'm just jumping in kind of blind. I watched like a history video, the Crunchyroll one, which is like an hour and something minutes. It's uh, it's really long, but it gives you a good idea what the world's all about. And uh, yeah, I figured we'd, we'd try it out together. I bought, uh, so there's different grades of them. I believe this is, so this is real grade. So it goes, what was the first one? High grade, real grade, master grade, then perfect grade. And that's basically, the order of quality for the Gundam. So, I mean, okay, technically I have built one before. So, back in uh, the beginning of uni days, um, I joined the anime club and they were giving away this cheap Gundam. It, it came in, like, basically a plastic packet like this, and it was, like, maybe five parts, and you just kind of pulled them out and stuck them together, and that was it. It took me about five minutes. But uh, this is, like, a proper, proper model kit which uh, you'll see very soon. It's got a whole bunch of things to it, all the stickers and decals and whatnot that we're gonna have to put on and build it together. I think it'll be fun to uh, to film this through, as well as I'm gonna panel line it. So panel lining is, you can see these uh, these white bits here, right? There are some grooves and whatnot, like, uh, like over here, that's a groove. You just, you go over it with a marker in black and it makes it stand out a bit more. Um, I've been watching like tons of videos on how all of this works, so I figured it'd be cool to film it, film it together, go through the process, maybe you guys can give me tips and all that. There are lots of different Gundams and I don't really get all the, the name schemes and where they're from, but uh, this one looked the coolest. It was uh, an affordable price, it's 50 bucks, so uh, not too bad. Also went and picked me up uh, one of these action bases. So the way this works is uh, you, you pretty much just put the Gundam on top of it. This one seems really easy to build. Uh, I'll probably build this first just so uh, if I screw anything up at least it's on the base so I can practice on this one and not the actual Gundam. And then I've got all the tools we need. So apparently this is called a nipper. Uh, it's basically just wire cutters. Um, this thing can separate parts. This is a file or a chisel. I'm not sure. Maybe it's both. Uh, this is a screwdriver for if you need to screw anything in. Most of them don't have screws though. Um, and this is uh, like a little tweezer thing to uh, help you help you pick things up and hold small parts. I think I might use that to put the stickers on at the end. So uh, yeah, here's how you use it as well. Separate the parts, cut the things up, and all of that, and uh, it ends up pretty nice. Oh wait, hold on. It says, it says cut here. So, from my experience in the videos, it they always say cut like further away from, like right against the thing, and then file it down that way. If anything goes wrong, you haven't just straight up cut into the part. So if you cut like right here, chances are you make like a, a divot there. So if you cut here instead, further away. If anything goes wrong, you just file it down. And that's apparently the best way to do it. Uh, so I'll try that out. And then, yeah, Action Base does a bunch of things. It has uh, different different holes for all the different types of Gundams. But uh, let's, let's take a look at this guy. So this guy is Strike Freedom. Um, uh, I believe the original is called just Freedom. There is, my friend did actually get Freedom, so. Uh, I got the strike version of it. I don't know what that means. I'm guessing that just means he upgraded. He leveled up. He went Super Saiyan Gold or something. Um, but he's got all these gold parts, which is pretty cool, which is what I like about him. Plus, I like his face a bit more than the other one. And these wings. Look at those wings. Um, but anyway, let's take a look at the box, because uh, we do this always. So it, it's got a gold frame. So these things on the inside are called frames. Also, I'm very much... I've watched, like, a couple of videos, so don't don't think I'm an expert on any of this. If I'm saying something wrong, if it's something else, tell me in the comments down below. Um, got all these parts. Uh, it looks very nice. All the gold stuff, and yeah, as you can see over here, it, basically it's on sheets, and you cut those out and then slowly build it into this guy over time. And there's also like a little figure for the character that pilots it. This side we've got uh, more stuff showing it off. 
up top we've got him in a bunch of poses and all of that. Very cool, very cool. Showing off all the gold joints and whatnot. Some guns. Same thing on the other side. And across the bottom is that. And on the underneath it is it's just black. Hey. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's drop into this. I'm gonna try and uh, for the purpose of video, I will fast forward through things and whatnot just to, to make my life easier. Chances are this video is not gonna come out anytime soon, so I'm re I'm recording this the day before PS5 comes out. Um, so and I don't have panel lining yet, so I'm gonna try build as much as I can today. Jump cut where I can if I decide to go away and come back to it. But uh, who knows when this will come out? I guess you guys do. But yeah, let's take a look at what's in here. So here's all the gold parts. Alrighty, this looks weird. Too. Oh wait, these are the, I think these are the wings. I won't open any of them right away. I'll just stack them on the side for now. And we have all of these parts. I think this makes up, no, some of this is, maybe it's the frame, I don't know. But lots of different colors for all the parts. We've got, oh yeah, these are the shells for the wings, as you can see there. Uh, we can see the, the bits I'll need to cut later on, holding it onto the sheet. We've got the black bits. Alright. Some more whitish, grayish kind of colors. Alright, very nice. More gold stuff. Uh, we do have stickers as well. So some people paint their Gundams. I'm not going to do that because I have no skills as a painter. Uh, and this is my first go around. So I'm just going to do it, do it normally. And then over here we have our instruction manual. This is going to tell us what to freaking do with this guy. All right. Strike Freedom Gundam. Okay. This is my first time looking at one of these. Uh, from the videos I've watched, they say it's very simple, although it is all in Japanese. Okay, I don't know what that means. Oh, that's telling me it's it's number one. Go with that one. That's how it's read, I guess. I'll figure all of this out as we go. It shows you all the parts to make sure you've got everything over here. And I guess this is where it starts. So I guess sheet number one. And then you find all the parts and then slowly cut them out as you're going. I'll message my friend if I get stuck, he'll probably know what to do. Oh, and then it gives you like a, an overview of how it will work inside the frame. So that's the skeleton inside bending. Uh, that's what it, what sort of moves, I guess, as it bends on the outside. That's really neat. I really do like the, the, the work that goes into this. Okay, more building. Oh, and it also tells you what part you're building as well, which is nice. I think most people build the frame first and then build around that, if I'm not mistaken, but who knows. I'll learn as we go. Here we have all the weapons being shown off. Then the wings getting built. More wings getting built. Uh, putting them on as well as how to do the guns. And then uh, how the wings move. Very nice. And oh, here's everything uh, in color on the very last page. I guess he does have a shield, or maybe he... Maybe he doesn't. I don't think he's got a shield. I think this might be an add-on part. So there are add-on parts as well to make your Gundam look cooler. There's like these translucent wings that just clip on in between all of these things. Which look really cool, and I really want them, but I can't find them anywhere other than the knockoff versions. And then, who do we have here? Well, we have a character, whoever this is, I'm not sure, because I haven't watched it. Um, and I guess you can paint him to look like what he should in the shows. All right, very cool. But uh, yeah, that's that. So, um, oh, where's the focus gone? Jeez. Hello, there we go. Not sure what happened there. Um, I say we build this first. Because uh, that way I can screw it up and then I haven't lost 50 bucks. Uh, also, just down over that way, I do have, um, since we're going to be filing stuff, I, I took out a piece of paper so I can file on that thing and not make a huge mess because I don't have anything to really put on on these guys. But uh, let's uh, let's crack open. Oh god, why is this thing falling? I think my um, 
tripod has come loose over time. Stay up. There we go. We won't make any sudden movements. All right, let's see what we're working with. Actually, let's move all that to the side. You can go over there, you can go over there, Gundam. All right. Oh wait, we should check out the tools first, shouldn't we? To know what the heck I'm doing. All right, let's cut over there. Again, these things are like very inexpensive when it comes to hobby stuff. Like, uh, especially compared to the Nendroids, like, one fairly large Gundam is the price of, uh, like, well, this thing was 50 bucks, a normal Nendroid is about 10 bucks off that on Ami Ami. Plus, all of these guys are cheaper on Ami Ami. I didn't buy this one from Ami Ami because I wanted to get it sooner rather than later and didn't want to pay DHL. Um, but, yeah, if you want to get into this, it seems relatively easy. Okay, so I guess, oh, look, it is, it's like a flat thing. See, we can get focus. So it's flat on the bottom. I don't know what's going on with my focus today, um, but yeah, so it's flat. So I guess it, it will give you a clean cut, which is maybe I'll try it out. I'll try it out on this thing that way. Yeah, it's screwed up, then it's fine. Uh, we got the part separator, the file. This is a file. Yeah, this is a file. Okay, I'll use that to. Uh, Get rid of any parts that I need to sand down because I don't have sandpaper. I don't think I'll need any of these guys for now, so we'll keep them to the side. And now let's put out all of these things. Chop chop. Okay, what are we working with here? Oh, it does have some nuts and bolts, I guess, for certain Gundams that need it. This. I guess this is uh, this is our instructions. Okay. So you'll need to screw stuff in for certain ones, I'm assuming. I don't think you need it for actually putting this together. And apparently they can all attach, which is nice and cool. Oh, this is actually kind of nice base, not gonna lie. Everything is kind of protruding protruding inwards, if you can see that. That's kind of neat. Okay. Put the screws away to the side for now. Hopefully we don't lose anything. Do I need any of this? I'll keep, um, I'll keep this for now, just in case. Also, I don't know if you can hear that, but there's some really loud buzzing somewhere. I think, you know, I think there's, like, actually a small, or oh, not-so-small bug that's gotten either into my roof or the closets next to me. So, like, those closets over there, because it's been buzzing for a few days and I have no idea where it is because I want it to go away. But, uh, hopefully it doesn't come out on the video too much. Okay. Sorry, earphone users. What the heck is this? What is this? Hold on. Instructions? Um, hmm. I'm not sure what that is. Alright, we leave that to last. That This isn't sandpaper, is it? No, it's too smooth, but... I don't know. I'm gonna... Is it a sticker of some kind? I'm not entirely sure. This can wait on the side as well. Okay. Let's uh, line all of these up. This is the right way? Is this the right way? Hold on. Yes. Okay, then we got this. Okay, there's the numbers. There. Where's the number for this? Ah, there we go. Now this is the right way. Okay, so... Let's see. Step 1. BA3-B2. BA3C. 
BA3 B2, this is it. So we need the circle bit and the square bit. And then just the, the big base here. Okay. In between there might be jump cuts because I'm going to try and record this in batches. That way if I lose any footage, at least it won't be the entire thing because my phone's almost full on storage. So we'll do a jump cut here and then I will begin recording. I might not talk as much during all of this and I will try and speed through all the parts where I don't talk. So let's do the... <laughs>
Okay, I figured I'd just touch base real quick because uh, this one took me a little while. So what happened was I put the nut the wrong way around uh, and obviously you can't screw it if it's backwards. So we have to take that out uh, and then it just wasn't sitting flat, which I wanted it to be a bit more flush. So we hammered it down with the back of the screwdriver. Um, but yeah, that makes sense now. I guess uh, you learn this as you go. And uh, for veterans, it probably makes more sense. But there we go, this piece is done. Just wanted to say that before we uh, move on to the next one. Uh, hopefully everything's been fine angle-wise, but uh, we're slowly figuring this out. Uh, this in itself is an adventure on its own. Forget about the Gundam, we're still on the freaking base and it's taken me like, what, 40 minutes? Dang. All right, well, but for you guys, hopefully I've sped that up fairly quickly, uh, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Anyway, let's move on to the next. Okay, I realize it's probably best to, rather than just show that in silence, I'll, I'll actually explain how it works. So, uh, this isn't actually held in by anything. I'm assuming the next part will get us to hold it in by something. But essentially, you you flip the tab on that, and that allows, so if you can see right there, there's like a, the gear system. That'll allow you to pull it out and then lock it into place somewhere. And uh, I guess have the frame somewhere. That's actually really neat. I really like how this is going. Uh, Alright. Let's go get that back open. And yeah, once it's open, you're free to slide however you want and then close it up again. Uh, also, given how long this is taking, I'm thinking maybe, I'm assuming it'll be shorter for you guys, but uh, it's probably going to go for the length of like a, a regular video, so I think I'll split this up into parts. That way uh, I can figure it out bit by bit and you guys can still see see it all without having to go in one one really long video anyway let's uh let's move on to the next building sesh Alright, I, I think we're done. I think that's it. So all the pieces that are left on this thing, oh, all these two pieces here, on oh, these two sheets even, uh, they're all the attachment bits that you put on top of this here. And that, that's used to connect the Gundam onto the actual thing. I don't want to pull them out yet because I don't know which one I need. Um, and I want to keep the rest of them on the actual thing. And I believe this here, this little thing that we put in last, it's supposed to be a label. I would hazard a guess that this probably has like the name somewhere. 
perhaps it's, it's this one here. I don't know, but uh, I'm, I'm assuming that's like a, a name label to say, hey, this is this Gundam uh, that's displayed over here. So the way it works all together is, I'm not sure how to do it. Hold on. I, I feel like you're supposed to pull it off this thing, but maybe not. Uh, you guys can tell me in the comments below, but pretty much you can turn, turn that out to get the, uh, the notches through, as we, we discussed previously. So it locks into place at the bottom there, or in one of these grooves that go up, and then you can uh, pretty much just pull all the way wherever you feel fit, and uh, then you can unlatch this, pull this up. That however you want, but then how does this work? Oh, then I suppose you'll have to move this to a different location so it can uh, attach in, won't you? Like so, and then you can have your Gundam displayed high up or something if you want. It doesn't feel like it's at the right angle. All oh, right, I can move that. Uh, I suppose I'll do some playing around with this, figure it all out properly, but uh, that seems to be how it works, I guess, hold on, it just seems to be going that way, why is that, you should be leaning not that way, you should go straight up, is that because it's at a, no it's not, hmm, I don't know, maybe I'm imagining it, Pull this out, pop it back in, turn this down, and into the hole you go. I guess that's how you uh, you get the different angles. It's kind of cool, um, not gonna lie. Alright, we should probably lock it into place as well. That way it'll stop it from going down. I think this is a really nicely built thing here, uh, if I'm being completely honest. It would be nice if Nendroids had something similar for at least for the uh the flying androids but uh yeah it's a really cool thing to use this thing here this top piece isn't actually locked in i suppose it's just like it's in there but you can pull it out if you really try i won't try now but you saw me do it earlier just for demonstration purposes um and then yeah that's that's pretty much it for the base so um i suppose we we will go from there uh, and in the next video we will start on the Gundam and see how far we can get with that. So if you're enjoying this sort of stuff, uh, let me know in the comments because I, I really would like feedback on this kind of one. Uh, also, give me some tips. Tell me what I did right, tell me what I did wrong and how I can improve so uh, when we actually get on to building the Gundam, it won't, uh, it won't turn out like this. How, how do we file? I'd like to know that. Because uh, when I was filing, it did leave those white marks. That's, uh, that's the first thing that comes to mind when uh, I think of improvements to make. But uh, other than that, let me know what tips you guys have in the comments down below. And I will see you in part two where we, uh, we tackle Strike Freedom over there. Alright, that's it for this one. Drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Alright, bye guys.